Hi everyone, I'm Tori, an adult doll collector, and I create videos for the enjoyment of other adult doll collectors and doll enthusiasts. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're not new, welcome back. Today I want to change one of my Ashton Drake Galleries collectible dolls. This is their uh, Little Grace, sculpted by Linda Murray. She's still in her Christmas pajamas. And it is now March. I know, I know. I should have changed her a while ago. As a matter of fact, I think I have three or four more dolls that are still in Christmas pajamas and outfits. So I really need to get to changing some dolls. But today we're going to change little Grace here into um, a very sweet outfit while we chat. And today's chat is going to be how I first saw Ashton Drake dolls. Now, mostly here on my channel, I feature my reborn art dolls, but I also feature realistic, authentic factory made dolls, such as Ashton Drake Galleries, Paradise Galleries, um, Lee Middleton's, Lloyd Middleton's, other vintage dolls. If it's really cute and it's a, a realistic baby doll, chances are I'm going to love it. <laughs> so I just thought that I would share the story of how I first saw Ashton Drake dolls while I changed her today. Now we're going to change her into this big white bow. I try my best to cover up her hair as much as possible. Now her hair, um, there's nothing really wrong with it, especially, oh my Oh my, <laughs> now that Ashton Drake roots most of their dolls, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I prefer to keep a headband on it or a hat to keep it under control because it's just, it can get a little bit crazy as you can see. She is so cute though. My only thing that I really don't like about this doll is that you can't turn her head. It does not turn. That's my only critique, I guess. But she's going to be wearing this Lulu & Co. outfit. So a not so expensive baby in a luxury brand. <laughs> I want to see how she fits in it. She looks so cute. This is a doll that I really wanted for a long time. She's a classic. Everybody knows about Little Grace, if you've looked at um, Ashton Drake Galleries before. So she's got this vinyl torso and squishy. Look at that. Squish, squish. <laughs> and then she's got a cloth body underneath to be a little more poseable. Now, I will say it doesn't make her that much more poseable, in my opinion. Um, I really like my Charlie by Linda Webb that they have. Um, I've had him for, I don't know, two or three years now. Much longer than I've had Grace here. And I love how he is a ball jointed. So let's get to the story. When I was a kid, I was probably around, I would say 12. I think I was around 12 when I first saw Ashton Drake Galleries advertising in a magazine. The doll that I saw was the Tiny Miracles Emmy, the 10 inch baby. And of course, as we know, Ashton Drake Galleries, they tend to Photoshop their advertisements. So I thought, oh my goodness, she's so realistic. I want that doll so much. And um, I cut that advertisement out of my mom's magazine <laughs> and kept it. I kept it in my pocket. I looked at it constantly. I then put it with like my journal. It was kind of one of my prized possessions at that point. I would 
dream about the day I could get one of those dolls. And I remember asking my grandma to get that doll for me, actually. <laughs> she never did. I never did end up getting um, an Ashton Drake Galleries doll when I was a child. But it makes me smile to look back at that and think, well, wow, I have lots of Ashton Drake dolls now. I really enjoy them. All right. This is a problem. Her vinyl being so soft and like almost oily. I would describe it as like almost oily, almost sticky, almost. Um, this soft fabric does not like that at all. But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna get it on her. It's just gonna take a little extra time and effort to get it. I think it was in my box opening video of this doll. I said that she wasn't quite weighted well enough. And now I've changed my mind on that. She's actually weighted very well. And for a doll who has a vinyl torso, she's very, very cuddly. I also thought that this top and bottom set would be really cute on her since she does have the torso so she can show her little belly button. This is going to fit her perfectly, I think. Uh-oh. I buttoned up the buttons wrong. How many of you do that too? I do it all the time. All the time. I got my first Ashton Drake Galleries doll, I believe I was about two years, two or three years into realistic doll collecting as an adult. My first Ashton Drake Galleries doll I bought was the um, Ashley, the Breathing Ashley doll, and I really, really liked that doll but the thing I didn't like about that doll was the breathing mechanism it was very loud it just didn't look very realistic to me but I still enjoyed that doll while I had her this is gonna look so cute There have been a couple of Ashton Drake Galleries dolls that I've purchased and then been like, eh, I don't like them as much as I thought I would. Um, actually, one of them was the May God Bless You Little Grace or Baby Grace or something like that. Completely unrelated to this doll. They named both of them Grace. And this one is Little Grace by Linda Murray. And the other one was um, May God Bless You Little Grace or something like that. That doll, I didn't like her. I didn't like her at all. I mean, like, she's kind of cute, but I don't know. I ended up selling that doll on pretty quickly. I just try to be more picky about which Ashton Drake dolls I buy, and I try to look at real-life photos and videos before I buy a new one to make sure that I really love the doll before I purchase it. And that's part of why I try to share my Ashton Drake Galleries dolls on here. I have been trying to share them a little bit more because I know people want to see them so they can decide if they really like them. They want to see them in you know, real baby clothes. They want to see them being changed, see how they move, hear feedback and reviews about the dolls, and just see them in real life. Look at her. Isn't she so cute? I actually really, really, really love this outfit on her. 
hold on let me turn her around here oh her headband is not on properly I might have to fold it hold on just a second okay so look at this look at that her cute little wrinkly back So that's it for today's video. I would love to hear in the comments from all of you. When did you first find out about Ashton Drake Galleries dolls? Or if it was a different type of Realistic Factory made doll like Paradise Galleries or Lee Middleton's, Lloyd Middleton's, other Realistic Vintage dolls, just authentic um, Realistic Factory made dolls. When did you first see them? And, you know, what was your story? I would love to hear it in the comments. Thanks for watching, everyone.